Kozum Productions coverage of the 2012 ITSF World Cup of Table Soccer continues as we once again head down to the finals area for the final match of the Women's World Cup. It's going to be Germany, it's going to be France, and it's going to be exciting, no question about that. The Germans beat Austria to reach this point. The French advancing through the semifinals as well. And we're going to start things off, of course, in the doubles format. It's a little bit of a different format here. It's doubles, then singles, doubles, then singles. And then if the extra match is needed, it would be doubles. There you see Petra Andres in the forward position, Vivi Vijaya in the goalie position representing Germany. Okay, best team. They'll be on the right side of your screen. Heinz Kiesling, the official, says let's play. That's Elise and Manivong in the forward position. Pauline Uo at goal. Pardon me, that's Gilles Bloch of Belgium as the official. We will start things off on the Bonzini table, which is the home table, of course, of the French. The Germans playing on the Leonhard table. And we're underway. This is Viviana Vijaya here setting it up near side. Vivi really slowing the pace down here. Goes to that short side where it's picked up by Petra Andres. Petra will shoot the pull shot. Of course, the French ladies just so very good on the Bonzini tables. And likewise for the Germans on Leonhardt. Usually going to be a pretty big difference between the two teams on the individual tables. Petra Andres getting another early game possession. And comes back with that rolling pull shot. It's 1-0. Looking at it again, you'll see she brings it across, sets it up, and then comes rolling back down the middle with that pull shot. She has okay, put play. the German team on top first. Yeah. And last year, of course, Austria won the Women's World Cup. Germany finished second, so they'd love to come back and win here this year. And, of course, the German men also in the finals here this year. They'll face the winner of France and Belgium later today, live on Eurosport TV. A multi-table format, of course. Each individual nation, each individual team has their home table. You play one game on your home table, one game on the other. And then you have the third game situation that's played on with both. One nothing lead for the Germans early on here on the French home table. Pauline Uo in the goalie position. This is Alice Danmanivong with a pin shot effort taken away by Vijaya. Clearing effort near side. And Pauline Uo. It's the Women's World Cup final here in the year 2012. And that shot attempt by Vijaya is blocked back into the goal by Ali Stenmanivong. Looking at it again, the short side shot attempt, the block and the goal. It's 1-1. One-one here in game one. Okay. 
Petra Andres. And she'll get another chance here. Andres takes her time and finds that hole down the middle. And when shooting the pull shot on the Bonzini table, that's where you want to shoot it. See it here as she goes down the middle. The narrowness of the men's foot, the size of the goal. Really make that a great choice when shooting the pull shot. In shot near side by Will. And this is Vivi Vijaya. Clearing effort near side, stab towards the goal. And Pauline Will. In possession of the ball. Andres with a nice pick up. And we've got a timeout. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Petra Andres, Viviana Vijaya of Germany leading 2-1 here in this first game on the French home table. Rolling pull shot. Mostly grabbed by Paulino, Paulino Wall. side, wide of the goal, and you're going to divide Vijaya once again. Then Mani Vong. Finds that hole to the near side. And the French have evened it up at two. Ali set it up near side, then rocked towards the middle, and then okay. fired it home to that near corner. It's 2-2. Petra Andres comes back with a rolling pull shot. It's 3-2. And that one lost by Dinmani Vong. Comes back to Alice who passes it through. Sets it up again on that far side of the goal. She can come down the middle with it. She can go straight with it. She can come all the way near side. Tries to go straight here and a big block there by Viviana Vijaya. And it rolls to Andres. Petra trying to pass it through. This is Paulina Wool. Jaya. Just looking to get that ball to the other end of the table and try to get possession of it into the hands of her offensive player. And 
Uo's shot attempt. Dimonibon can't grab it. And there you see Paulina Uo in possession of the ball. An angling effort wide of the goal, then picked up by Alice Dimonibon. Ali shot down the middle, blocked and taken away by Bibiana Vijaya. Germany versus France. It's the Women's World Cup final. And Petra Andres will set it up in pull shot position. Time. And call timeout. to give her team a 4-2 lead here in game number one. Shot down the middle, blocked. Taken away by Paulino Awu. Paulino Awu will set it up near side, angle that one towards the goal. Knocked backwards, grabbed by Vijaya. And the Germans now have surged ahead, 4-2. France defeated Austria in the semifinals. There you see that shot by Vijaya angling in. They jumped ahead, 4-2. Germany beat Belgium to reach this point. Shot down the middle by Paulino O. It's now 4-3. Result in another match here in a semifinal match as we look at Paulino O bring it all the way to that near side and into the goal. The Belgians have advanced to the World Cup final of the men's side of things. They'll face Germany in the final. Andres has possession of the ball on her shooting rod, and she's going to step away and call timeout. Germans one goal away here from stealing a game on the French home table. I'm happy, Belgium. Ten seconds. Spiel. Petro will put the ball back into play. A chance to win this opening game for Germany. And Andre strokes home that long pull shot. So the Germans steal a game on the French home table. Best shot of the match so far. Look at her bring it all the way out there with speed and power. And Germany leads one game to nothing. Okay, are we ready? 
You are playing. So the Germans come out and win the first game on the French home table. At least then Monibong, though, with the first possession here, opening up game number two. Shot attempt blocked and taken away by Viviana Vijaya. And the Germans now on their comfortable home table. We'll see what the French have. There's a nice save by Elise. She'll set it up, quick shot attempt. Vivi is there to take it away. Vijaya, nice pass along that near side to Andres. Shot near side. Comes back up the table, and then Manivong now in possession. The chance to get her team on the scoreboard first. And she does. It's 1 0. Germany leading 1 0 in this opening round. Doubles will have singles immediately after this. Josefina Weindrich and Marina Pohl. And a shot near side by Petra Andre shooting the pin shot. It's 1 1. Petra playing very well. Vijay, another near side pass. Impeccably completed. That's three or four of those we've seen so far. Shooting the pin shot. Andres near side. It's 2 1. Looking at it again, she continues to exploit that near side of the goal. Reacts with excitement, pumping her fist. Right now, we're looking at the possibility of an all-Germany World Cup championship situation. Both German teams, men and women, are in the finals. Germany will face Belgium later on today in the men's final. Again, Bibi clearing the zone, doing a really good job back there, both offensively and defensively. And here's Andres down the middle this time. It's 3-1. Petra Andres really playing well. The key was stealing that first game on the Bonzini table. And Andres able to pick this one up. Petra. Time out. We'll call timeout. German ladies with a dominant opening match performance so far. Great German player, Alice Denmanivong. And her partner, Paulina Wo, finding themselves behind 3-1 here in the second game after losing the opening game. Still 3-1. Right now, the Germans in complete control in this opening round. And they are just so good on their home table. Of course, you would have said that about the French as well on the Bonzini table, but the German ladies, led by Petra Andres, came out and really performed well on the French-style table and stole away that first game. Again, the pass near side.
near side. And again, this time blocked and taken away by Paulina Wo. Shot down the middle by Wu. Paulina once again. Petra Andres. Had to come near side, and Paulina Wu has. Started to improve defensively here these last few possessions. And Petra finds that hole to the far corner. That was a beautiful shot by Petra Andres. One lead now for the Germans. Here in the second game, it's match point. Ali Stemanovon with a big shot there to the near side, but it would be a case of too little too late as the Germans now need just one more goal to take a one match to nothing lead. Okay, okay. Petra Andres. And she'll have an opportunity to win the match right here. Petra sitting in the center. Now takes it out to that far side, walks it around, and calls timeout. Petra Andres with a chance to close out this opening round match and give the Germans the one match to nothing lead. With Josefina Weinrich and Marina Pohl awaiting to play next in the singles format. Chance here for Petra Andres to put the match away as she sets it up, trying to come near side, blocked away by Paulino Wo, and she'll gather it in. 4-2 lead for the Germans on their home table after winning that opening match, that opening game on the French on, home folks. table, and Paulina is going to step away and call timeout. Paulino will, will put the ball back into play in the goal area. Trailing 4 2 here in game two. It is a match point for the Germans. Whoa, Filers. That one on goal. Retrieved by Vijaya. Viviana Vijaya will set it up near side. She's been really good in this match at passing the ball near side. There it is again. Sent up the table by Vijaya and grabbed by Din Manivon. Alice. Pass attempt stolen away by Petra Andres. The crowd trying to get the French ladies fired up. And Alice able to pick this one up. And she now sets it up on that far side of the goal with a chance to pull her team back within one. Try to come near side and Vivi slides out there to make the block. 
another opportunity here for the Germans to win the match. As Petra Andre sets it up in pin shot position. And strokes it to the near side. In two straight games, Petra Andres, Viviana Vijaya defeat Alice Denmanivong and Paulina Uau. And here you see the final shot as the Germans now have taken a one match to nothing lead. A disappointed Alice Denmanivong. The French lose on their home table. And the Germans close it out on their home table to Leonhardt. And we go to match number two now. Josefina Weidrick and Marina Pohl will face each other in singles. And Marina Pohl, I believe a former Bonzini world champion. You can see the French crowd <laughs> somewhat depressed until they know they're on camera, of course. Some of our friends from Poland with a scorpion on the shoulder. You see Josefina Weinrich of Germany. Number two singles will take place here now with Germany leading one match to nothing. We'll start things off on the French home table, the Bonzini, with Marina Pohl on the left side of your screen. There you see her. Are you ready? Yeah, outstanding French player. Very, okay. very good on Bonzini. And Josefina Weindrich on the right side of your screen. And here we go. Weindrich will put it into play. And has her pass knocked down, taken away by Pohl. Marina Pohl comes back to that far side after faking to the near. It's 1-0. This is a really good Bonzini player. Okay, play. Yeah. And that pass stolen away by Pohl. And it's 2-0. You can see how focused she is. She likes to wear the hat, which keeps her focused not on the opponent, not on the crowd, not on the TV cameras, just on the back of the goal. It's now 2-0. Cinderella Poitivon will be playing a little later on, if it goes that far. She's in the final singles match. Goes doubles, then singles, doubles, then singles, and then you have a doubles match if you need it. Choose any two players to play in that one. Josefina Weinrich now will have her first scoring opportunity. And she's going to shoot the snake shot. Try to go to that far side, taken away by Pohl. It's difficult to do. To shoot the snake on the Bonzini table, it really takes a lot of practice. There are some very good ones, of course. But it's different. It's a different kind of table than the other ITSF sanctioned tables. And even though you don't have to use the Bonzini handles anymore, you can use whatever handles you want on whatever table. You can use your own personal handles. Still not easy to do, although yep. certainly the pin shots on the Bonzini are the way to go. And 
Marina Pohl was able to find that hole to the far side once again. It's 3-0, and she's in control on her home table here, opening up this second round match. Weinbrick. Takes her time and then rattles that one in. It's now 3-1. You see she kind of cut that one back off the man and into the goal. Trails 3-1 here in this opening game on the Bonzini table. And angles that one into the goal. Nice play. Josefina Weinrich with that front pin effort. Sending it to the far corner of the goal. Let's look at that one again. She brings it and swings it into the goal. Leading 3-2 now, Marina Pohl of France, setting it up again far side. And again, same shot. Brings that hard pin to the near side and comes back to the far corner. Can play. Yep. Yep. 4-2 lead for the French woman, Marina Pohl in this Second round match, Germany leading one match to nothing. Good shot attempt taken away by Pohl. So Monterina Pohl in control here on her home table. And she'll have a chance to win the match right here, right, the opening game rather of this match. Sets it up and strokes it to the near side. So Marina Pohl wins the opening game of her match against Josefina Weinrich. And you'll see how right there as she brought it near side, slammed it into the goal just before Weinrich could get there defensively. And she now leads one game to nothing. Petra Andres with some words of defensive advice for Josefina Weinrich. But it's Marina Pohl, a great French woman who has won the opening game. We'll see what she has on the Leonhardt table as we now head over to the German home table. Uh, Josefina Weinrich certainly is much more experienced and comfortable. Game two underway. Can't connect on the pass. We'll have a stoppage in play, and they're going to award it. Leave a jar called by referee Gilles Bloch. Yeah. Yeah. And instead of giving it to her on the three rod, he didn't feel she would have caught it, but does give it to her. Josephina Weinrich on the passing rod. Scoring opportunity here of game number two. Takes it across to that far side. Tried that same shot coming back. Not quite as effective on the Leonhardt table, but this is what she shoots. This is her style. She's going to stick with it. And that's smart. And she finds the hole to the near side here. Marina Pohl. See her grip as she brings it near side. And Pole able to pick this one up. She has possession now on her five rod.
setting it up in front pin position now is Josefina Weinrichs looking to even it up at one here. And she does. Going deep to that near corner. It's 1-1. One, one. Germans won that opening round doubles match. They lead one match to nothing. drops in so the Germans are up 2 one shot down the middle comes all the way back around the table and Marina Fold simply didn't get back there in time defensively to keep it out Fold yep. can't connect Back towards the goal, rattles off both goal posts. And Marina Pold in possession. Pohl will set it up and stroke it home. And then celebrate along with the French fans. Along with their thunder sticks. Two. You're in game two. Let's have Ina Weinrich along that near wall. We'll set it up looking to regain the lead. Try to go far side, blocked and taken away by Paul. Second round singles match. We'll also, of course, next up have another doubles match. It's going to be Katrin Matsushita and Sabina Brosa of Germany going up against Anaïs Noel, the great French player, and Angelique de Coutois. Two two here in game two. Savina Weinrich really needs to assert herself on her home table here if she wants to take this to a third game. She's playing a very experienced player, Marina Pola, who is going to do all she can to scrap and win on this table and not get to a third game. Beautiful bank off that inside wall by Weinrich. It's now 3-2. And she's going to call timeout. Germany. Ten seconds. Play, please. Yeah. Jana Gozic and she blocked the officials for this match. Chance here for Pole to tie it up. Tried to come back to the far hole and Feinrich not giving her that. Did score that, I believe, three different times on the Bonzini table. Not quite as easy to do here for Marina Pohl. But she does find the hold of the near side. It's now 3-3. And the thunder sticks of the French fans explode throughout the arena. Pass along that near wall by Weinrich. Safina. Big shot here. Snake position tried to come near side, rattled that off both posts, but Pole can't hold on to the rebound. Josefina will set it up once again. 
and find the hole this time. So she hit them both very tight. Second one stayed in. It's 4-3. Attempt by Pohl. Now it's gained possession of it in the goal area. Marina Pohl using the left hand. And taken away by Weinrich, who's got a chance to win game number two right here. And she'll step away and call timeout. Ball in possession of Josefina Weinrich of Germany, who puts it back into play. Looking to even this matchup at one game apiece. Weinrich. Try to go far side, blocked by Pohl, but it bounces right back to Josefina, who sets it up once again. And strokes it home to the near corner. It's one game apiece. We'll now start with one ball on Bonzini. As you look again, she finds that tight hole near corner. Nicely done. One ball on Bonzini, then back to Leon Hart for two, then two on Bonzini, etc. Until someone gets to five, and of course you must win by two. Germany, who lost last year in the women's final to Austria. The Austrians lost in the semifinals to the French this year. 15 seconds. The Germans would love to win the World Cup title once again. Here we go, third game underway, starting with the one ball on the Bonzini table. It's Marina Pohl on her home table. And she's able to grab this pass. She'll set it up looking to get on the scoreboard first. Josefina Weinrich must watch out for that hard fake near side and then shot to the far corner. Trying to come near side here with the shot attempt and Weinrich is there to take it away. These third game situations, it always comes down to whether or not a player can steal a point on the opponent's home table. And Weinrich's going to get a chance to do that right here. Josefina will set it up in snake position. She can go near side, she can go far side, she can go down the middle. Weinrich. Jokes it home near side. So she does indeed steal one on the French table. She really, once again, gets that ball deep to that near corner. She has a really good near side snake shot. As we now head over to the Leonhardt table. Okay, play back. Continue. Yeah. Ball put into play, then pass through. And now set up by Pohl. Who fires it home near side, so she gets it back. Yeah. See it again, finding the hole of the near corner. Weinrich didn't get that goalie man over there far enough to make the stop. It's 1-1. Action pack third game situation. Truly what makes this multi-table format so great. Weinrich on her home table has so far given up the one to Pohl, but she did get the one on the Bonzini table, so in essence, we are even, and it's four we're even. Weinrich. Mm -hmm. 
Shot down the middle on goal, blocked, but carries in. It's 2-1. And back over to Bonzini we go. Looking at it again, the shot down the middle, hit off a man, and then the spin carried it into the goal. And oftentimes when you're aggressive, putting shots on goal with authority, you're going to get those kinds of breaks. Josefina yep, yep. Weinbrick got one right there. She now has surged ahead 2-1. Pass attempt by Pohl. Blocks, comes back to Maureen in the goal area. Moreno now will set it up with the left hand in pinch position. Pass along that outside wall. Grabbed again by Weinrich. Maureen Pohl now in possession. And she looks for the lead. Fake near side, then back to the corner. That went wide, and a nice grab on the fibro by Josefina Weinrich. Stolen back by Pohl. Trying to get it off that wall. Come out, Frost. And let's see whether we have a timeout here. Looks like we do. seconds. Right. 2-1 yeah. lead for Josefina Weinrich of Germany. The Germans lead one match to nothing. We're tied up at a game apiece here in this second round match and this one stolen away by Weinrich. Josefina. Try to come near side, wide of the goal. And that one banked off the inside wall, off a of man and into the goal by Pohl. It's 2 2. Marina Pohl tried to hit this inside bank and does so, but it's off a of man. But it counts as a point. She'll take it. It's 2 2. Heinrich has her pass blocked, and she's now able to grab it in the goal area. Marina Pohl. We're on Marina's home table, the Bonzini. Right now, things holding true. Each player has scored one on the other's home table and one on their own table. Heinrich down the middle with a shot attempt, then grabs it nicely on her five rod, steps into the forward position. She'll attempt to pass it. Five rod to three rod. But knocked down back towards the goal by Pohl. Heinrich sets her forward men up in the air, clear the path down the table, then knocks it towards the goal, blocked, and she gathers it in. Pass attempt, retrieved by Pohl. And again, it's Weinrich. Stolen away by Weinrich. Josefina Weinrich for the lead. Tries to go down the middle, blocked up into the air and off the table. Yeah. Looking at it again. Nice block there. She showed her that middle, then took it away and knocked it up into the air and off the table. Nicely done defensively by Marina Pohl. Set. And 
And Marina now with a chance to take a 3-2 lead and send it back over to the Leonhardt table. Trying to come back to that far corner, and then it's knocked back into the goal by Weinrich. It's 3-2 in favor of the French woman. And back over to the German home table we go. You see it here, rattled wide, and then inadvertently knocked backwards by Weinrich into her own goal. Wait. Wait. So to the Lionheart table we go, and ball will be put back into play by Josefina Weinrich, and she has her pass stolen away by Paul. Weinrich really needs to get both of these as we would head back over to the Bonzini table, and if Paul gets just one of them, she'll have a chance to head back over there and put this thing away. Of course, no matter what, we're going back to Bonzini. Big shot here. Marina Pohl. Tried to come back along that outside corner. Weinrich was there. Josefina trying the outside bank. Gets it back, resets, sends it up the table, sent back at her by Pohl, and then into the goal by Marina Pohl. It's match point. See it again, just a hustle play. And she sends it into the goal on the rebound with her five rod. French women feeling pretty good about things now after that opening match loss. They are about to tie it up with just one more goal. Josefina Weinrich. Big shot here for Weinrich. Near side blocked by Pohl and then sent into the goal by Marina Pohl. This match is all tied up at one apiece. La partie doit commencer. Vous devez vous mettre en position. 
So here we go. It's the third round. It's doubles of this match between Germany and France. It's Katrin Matsushita, Sabina Broza on the right side of your screen representing Germany. Anaïs Noel and Angelique Le Coutois on the left. And we'll start things off on the German home table. And possession of the ball on the three rod of Sabina Broza. And that one drops in. Shot was blocked as she tried to bring it to the near side, but it rolled back and she angled it in with her left hand. Here you see it. A nothing lead for Germany. Big match here. Tied up at one match apiece. Germans won the first one. French came back in that last singles match to win as Marina Pohl defeated Josefina Weinrich. This is the great French champion Anaïs Noël. Who was in the women's final this year in singles at the World Championships, also held this week in non France. She did lose to Amelie Bremer in that women's singles final. This is Sabina Broza, the wife of a German men's player Bjorn Broza, who was so instrumental in defeating the United States in the semifinals today in the men's event. Leading 1 0 here in this third round match. Katrin Matsushita. Now Angelique Ecoutois. Fired on goal by Matsushita. Nice pickup here by Noel. Nice. Try to come near side. That one's knocked up into the air and off the table. Let's see who they give this to. We'll go to Katrin Matsushita of Germany. Pass near side, nicely done. Sabina. Finds that straight hole. Walked it around and kept it out there at that far side of the goal and was able to knock it into that corner, as you'll see here. Flipping that man over. It's 2 nothing. And this one taken away by Brosa. So the German ladies so far ahead on their home table on the East Noel, though, with a chance to cut the lead in half. And she does. It's 2 1. <laughs> 2 1 lead now for the German ladies. It's pivotal. Third round match. Brushed through the lane by Barossa. Sabina setting it up on that far side of the goal. Tried to go to that straight once again to the far corner. She flips it over. Let's see what she does here. Tries to come down the middle. That's just good defense by Le Coutois. But Bros able to take it back. Again, 
flipping it over far side. And now picked up by Noel. And fired into the goal by Anais Noel. Here in game number one. Barosa with a chance to give her team the lead right here. She keeps trying to work that far corner. And she'll work the near corner here as she walks it around and strokes it to that near side of the goal. See the ball handling and then the shot to give her team the lead. Noel looking to advance it five rod to three rod, but it's stolen almost by Broza. Instead, it's knocked backwards to Noel. Shot attempt taken back by Matsushita. Sent up the table, sent back up the table once, twice. That one hangs on the edge of the goal. It's kept out by Angelique Lecoutois. And she's going to call timeout. Looking at it again, that one went up and back and then just lingered right on the edge of the goal and Le Couture kept it out. Nice play by Angeli. 10 seconds. This goal. Attempt by Le Coutois is taken away by Sabina Broza. She dances across the mouth of the goal with the ball. And then finds that far corner. That's a nice shot. Sabina Broza up, back, showing you the fine ball handling. And then found that far side of the goal with a shot attempt, and it's 4-2. And so it looks like Broza and Matsushita very well could win this opening game on their home table, which is what you need to do in this format. Win all the games on your home table. Ten seconds. Two lead for the Germans. Rosa can't connect on the pass, and it rolls to the five rod of Anais Noel. Here's Katrin Matsushita. Katrin, a very, very good all around player. Play forward, goalie, singles, doubles. Nice grab by Broza. Sabina for a first game win. Dokes it to that near side. Sabina Broza, Katrin Matsushita win game one of this third round. And we'll head back over to the Bonzini table. You see her walking around, and she really finished off that game beautifully. Great performance by Sabina Broza. So over to the Bonzini, we will go for game number two. Yes. Great atmosphere here in World Cup Arena. 
Great match going on. It's the Women's World Cup final down here in the finals area. As we get game number two underway. And we're going to restart here. Anais Noel will put it into play. Angles this one up, and she'll have the first scoring opportunity for her team. As Team France finds themselves down one game to nothing in this match, but they're on their home table. And that's a comfortable position for this great Bonzini duo. Okay, play. Sabina Broza with a pass attempt, angles towards the goal, kept out by Le Coutoir. And now Broza again in possession on her passing rod. Of course, you can shoot with the passing rod as well, and many players do. But the primarily use of that five-man rod is to advance it to your three rod if you can. And that gives you the best opportunity to score. You're only going up against two rods, and Anais Noel goes right through those two rods. It's 2 nothing. Beautiful shot there. She faked one way, then went out to that far corner. Rosa now will set it up in front pin position. Bring it across with that far man. Knocked away, comes back up the table. And this is Noel. Anis has it blocked, gets it back. Walks it around, shot attempt again, blocked by Matsushita. Comes down the table where it's retrieved by Angelique de Coutois. into the air and off the table. Ball went up into the air and off the table will be put back into play by Angelique Le Coutoir as she tries to go down the middle with a shot attempt, knocked back towards the goal. Angelique keeps it out and gives it away. Quick shot attempt by Brosa sent up the table, kept out of the goal by Matsushita. Katrin. Pass near side. Nice save. The action starting to pick up here. And that shot attempt blocked back into the goal. It's 3 0. See it again. Shot, block, and goal for France. Two more of the excitable French crowd. Matsushita now has moved to the forward position on the Bonzini table. Katrine, very good pinch shot. She shows it to you there. It's now 3 1. Matsushita near side. This could be a productive switch. Katrine Matsushita with some experience on the Bonzini table. And a very good pin shooter. Defense here by Country. Three blocks in a row against Noel. Ecoutois. Shot near side. Rosa in possession. The Germans won the first game on their home table. They trail 3 1 here in the second game of this third round match in doubles. Stephanie Schmid. Cinderella Poidebon would play next in singles in the fourth round. And so Sheena now with a chance to pull her team within one will reset and then call timeout. French discussing things. Members of the French men's team there. Ludovic Nuri and Adel Yusri. 
Frenchman lost in the semifinals to the Belgians. Anais Noel. Tried to come back to that far side. Rosa able to make the block and keep it out. Sabina sends it up the table. Matsushita able to grab it. Chance here for the German women to pull within one. Quick shot attempt. Blocked by Le Coutois. Matsushita gets it back. Shoots that one wide of the goal. And it's now 4-2. Rather 4-1 in favor of the French. Who appear to be on the way to taking this to a third and final game. That's a nice shot as she takes it across down the middle. Play. That's expected. The French women are going to win on their home table and take it to a third, it would appear. But perhaps Matsushita can get something started here. Does try to come near side rims. That one off the corner. Brosa gathers in the rebound. in possession. Nice grab on the three rod by Noel. On eights. The chance to even this match up. And she does. Here we go. Third game underway. We'll start off with one ball on Leonhardt. Sent towards the goal, and Bjorn, Bjorn Sabina Broza, the wife of Bjorn Broza, puts the ball onto her three rod in front pin position. Walks it around, try to come near side. Blocked by Le Coutois. We're starting off with a one ball here on the German home table. This is the third game, and a big game it is. Shot wide. Bounces up and back and around, and we've got a call. And they're going to award that ball to the three rod of Sabina Broza on the jar call. Apparently, as it was going back up the table, Anais Noel jarred it, but now Sabina Broza just kind of knocked it back. I think she didn't feel it was a good call. Sushita with a shot attempt. And again, and this one blocked back into the goal. So the French women steal a point to open up this third game on the German table. They lead 1-0. There you see it, the block back into the goal on that short side back pin shot effort by Matsushita. So over to Bonzini we go, and Katrine Matsushita is going to move into the forward position. Sabina Broza to goal. And 
Matsushita can't grab it. And again, a jar call. They're going to award it to Matsushita on her three rock. I don't think Katrine's going to give this one up. She puts it into play. Sets it up far side. And flips it over into the goal. It's 1-1. That's a big shot. Great shot by Katrine Matsushita. Playing forward on the Bonzini table. A pass attempt. Angles through. Was it legal? That's the question that's being asked. That's Much touch two men. It cannot come off a stop ball or a pinned ball. And apparently they are calling the illegal pass. And the ball we put into play by Matsushita on her five rod. That one knocked backwards, then knocked towards the goal and retrieved by Brosa. So each team has scored a goal on the opponent's home table. That one bounces towards the goal, kept out by Le Cotois. Angelique to the near side, then picked up by Matsushita. Chance here for the Germans to get both of these points on the French table. Matsushita shot near side, blocked. Nice save by Katrin. She'll reset. Walk it around and find the hole. So the German ladies get both points on the Bonzini table and back over to the Leonhardt, their home table. See here, she used a bit of man. In fact, both of them, but found the hole between. German ladies leading 2-1 and now on their home table for two balls. That was huge. Anais Noel able to pass this one through and set it up. Shot near side, blocked by Matsushita, who has moved back into the goal area. She's been the star of this match so far, at least this last game. Plus, Rosa now with a chance to make it 3-1. And she does, taking it out to that far side. Sabina now gives her team a two-goal lead. Let's look at it again. And she got it all the way out there, knocked it home. Germans in control here in game number three. Knocked back towards the goal, kept out by Angelique Le Coutois. Here's Matsushita. Plates. Oh well, so far on that Bontini table. Katri near side and ends up in the hands, the right hand, of Sabina Rosa with a chance to move within a goal of victory. Sabina walking it around, looking for the hole. Tried to go far side, blocked by Le Coutois. Noel able to retrieve it on her five rod. Rosa. Loses it backwards. Well, couldn't grab it. Matsushita does. Katrin off that inside wall. Brosa bounces it towards the goal. And Angelique Le Coutois has possession. Sent wide, and then it bounces in. Big shot there for the Germans. Boy, did they need that one, rather, for the French. It's 3-2. You see there, that one. Unfortunate for Katrin Matsushita, and her face shows it. So the French with a big one. Could have been 4-1. They steal that last point. A bit of a fortunate effort, but they'll take it. And it's 3-2. We've got a timeout. seconds. Katrin Matsushita moving back into the forward position as we move across the arena to the Bonzini table. Katrin puts it into play. She's played very well on this table. Can't connect on the pass here. 
De Coutois. The Germans leading 3 2. Pass along that outside wall retrieved by Brosa. Sabina angling effort taken away by Noel. Anais Noel will now set it up. Look at it, even it up at three. And she does. And she walked it around, gave a good hard fake to the near side, and then shot it out to that far corner. As you can see here, fake and shot. It's 3-3. Point here, and it's stolen away by Noel. Nice Noel for the lead, and she finds it to the near side. Match point for the French women as we head back over to Leonhardt. Looking at it again, she stopped it and then popped it. Four-three lead and a match point for the French. But we're back on the German home table. And a big ball here for the Germans. They won the first match, first individual match of this final. But the Germans, rather the French, came back to get the second one. And they're up 4-3 here in the third round match. That one knocked back towards the goal and up and angled and caught by Broza. Sabina to tie it up at four. Looking at that far side. Faking, taking her time and tried to go back out to the far side. Backspin carries it right back to her. She resets, takes a look, and finds that far corner. Big shot by Sabina Broza. It's 4-4. give her team a lead. Remember, it's win by two. Noel, shot attempt taken away. And then knocked forward and then back to Noel. East Noel, once again, looks for the lead for France. And she finds it. She fakes near side, comes back down the middle off a man into the goal and another match point here for the French women. Looking at it again. The fake and then angled back. Not exactly what she meant to do, but she meant to score it, and she did. It's now 5-4 and it's match point for France. And they're back on their home table. You can play. Matsushita in that forward position. Angles went towards the goal. It's match point for the French. Shot down the middle by Le Coutois. And there it is. The French have won the last two matches. They now lead two matches to one. They need just one more to be the 2012 ITSF World Cup champions. And there you see it. To singles we go. It'll be Cinderella Poidevon for the French. Stephanie Schmidt, the great German player, will be competing against Cinderella in the, the singles match. If the Germans can win it, we go to one final doubles match for the championship. And Cinderella can win this individual singles match. The French are the champions. La belle se jouera donc en cinq points ou plus, mais toujours deux points d'écart entre les deux équipes. Il y a également l'alternance entre les baby foot puisque l'équipe d'Allemagne a choisi le baby foot Leonard et que l'équipe de France a choisi Bonzini. Je vous demande une nouvelle fois, s'il vous plaît, de les encourager l'équipe de France féminine. C'est Cinderella Pepin qui va jouer. 
face à Stéphanie Schmid, elle aura besoin de votre encouragement. On vous rappelle également, pendant ce temps, que l'équipe de France Espoir est également en train de jouer sa finale. L'équipe de France qui, pour l'instant, est dominée face aux Pays-Bas. Deux jeux à un, deux matchs à un. Nous sommes dans la deuxième manche de ce quatrième jeu. L'équipe de France qui n'a plus le choix. Les jeunes qui ont besoin également des supporters français. Faites-moi du bruit pour l'équipe de France Espoir. Allez, donc dans quelques secondes, la reprise de cette rencontre, l'équipe de France féminine qui joue le titre de champion du monde. There you see the great German player Stephanie Schmidt. She's on the right side. Cinderella Poirevent on the left. And here we go. We start off on the German home table. The Leonhardt. French, if they win this match, if Cinderella Poirevent wins this match, it's over. Stephanie Schmidt, very good on the German tables. And the left hook there from Father of all. It's 1 0. Looking at it again, she got control of it and went for it. Unexpected play there. Usually the opponent looks for you to pass with that five rod. So if you can explode and surprise the opponent with that shot, you're going to have some success on occasion when you use it properly. All stolen away here by Cinderella. Schmidt sends it up the table and now picking it up on her three rod. She's got a good one. Setting it up near side, walking it around, try to go far side. Petra Andres, Katrin Matsushita of the German team, talking things over, feeling a little bit nervous. They've got one of their best playing here now. And Stephanie Schmidt ties it up at one. Angle pass here by Audevon, who looks pretty comfortable on this table. That quick shot at Tinko blocked up into the air and off the table. Look at it again. That one blocked actually back into the goal. It's 2 1. Drops in. 3 1 now for the Germans on their home table with Stephanie Schmidt. Has come out to get three of the first four. Again, it's not pretty. But a nice little defensive stop. 
And then quite a ball couldn't keep it out. Play. Germans looking on nervously. We need to get this to a fifth and final. Another block and another goal here. Quantivon is a Bonzini specialist. You see them fight after it, and then it gets knocked back in. And Cinderella's disappointment is obvious. Jumps into that forward position to try to grab it on her three rod. Couldn't do so. Body ball in possession now along the outside wall. Stephanie Schmidt of Germany. Cinderella Poitivon. Reset. On the left. And Reset. Tu as nouveau casting the stoppage in play here. Okay. Yeah. That's a warning from referee Gilles Block about possible distraction. But either way, Stephanie Schmidt scoops it up on her three rod and sets it up with a chance to win this opening game. And she does. Oh, Stephanie Schmidt, a strong performance here in game number one on her home table as she walked it around and took it out to that far corner. In a match that the Germans must have, Stephanie Schmidt provides them with a breath of fresh air and an easy 5-1 victory on the German home table. Women's singles champion, Amelia Bremer. In the hat, sitting back there in about the third row. Great player out of Denmark. As we get this second game underway on the French home table, the Bonzini. Bazoom Productions are presenting this exciting event from Nantes, France. Bottom ball quickly on the scoreboard. Hard fake. And then the shot with authority. It's going to be difficult for Stephanie Schmidt to defeat Cinderella Potemo on her home table. She's quite good on the Bonzini table. Vice versa, which makes that third game all the more interesting if it does happen. Sent back into the goal by Cinderella. It's 2 nothing. Looking at it again. A shot attempt. And then the stab back into the goal. Quick reactions by Cinderella. What a ball. Schmidt's pass attempt comes back to Cinderella. And she again fires it to that far corner. She's excited. She's getting the whole French crowd excited with shots like that. Brought him on to the near side. It's 4 nothing. And we've got a timeout. Well, and momentarily, it appears we're going to be headed to that third and final game as Juan Ball comes near side here, splitting the defense of Schmidt. Four nothing lead for Juan Ball representing France.
dominant performance by Schmid on her table. An equally dominant performance. That's a okay. Again, I think perhaps a warning for distraction from Jublok, the referee. And a chance here for Cinderella to put away this second game. But first, she'll step away and call timeout. as the ball is put back into play. And the shot is put into the back of the goal. It's one game apiece, and we'll head to a third game. And if France wins that game, they're the 2012 champions. Germany needs it to send it to one final match. And if that final match would happen, you'd have the two strongest possible teams, I think, for each of these countries. Sabina Broza and Petra Andres on one side, Alice then Manibong and Marina Pohl on the other. But first of all, Stephanie Schmid must hold off Cinderella Poivre-Duvall in this third game, which will begin on the Leonhardt table. Looks like the Netherlands have won the junior championship. Nervous and excited, Cinderella Pardemont looks on as Stephanie Schmidt on her home table puts it into play. Passing it nicely through the lane. Stephanie will set it up, looking for point number one of game number three. Schmidt fires it off that outside corner, and that one did go in. It's 1-0 in favor of Schmidt, and back over to Bonzini we go. I think it's in, but I'm not sure. You can see that ball did rim off and go in. Stop the ball, stop the ball. And right back though. Okay. Cinderella Poivivon has possession on her three run. Sets it up and strokes it into the goal. It's 1-1. Looking at it again. Faked one way and then came back the other. Play. One one. Stephanie Schmidt angles that pass into the goal. Big play there. She was attempting to pass it, but it turned into a shot, and that's huge. She steals one on the French table. You see it just perfectly placed. to Leonhardt we go. The German home table in a match that the Germans must win to stay alive. It's the 2012 ITSF Women's World Cup final. That one knocked back towards the goal by Schmid. And we're going to stay on Leonhardt. It's 3-1. Looking at it one more time. That one stabbed and then blocked and into the goal it goes. Stephanie Schmidt. Stephanie flips it over, tried to hit it off that back wall and retrieve it, but the spin kept it in the goal area of Pointe Ball. Shot attempt, blocked by Schmid, and grabbed by Cinderella. Big shot here for the French. Shot near side, blocked by Schmid. Stephanie sends it along the outside wall, then moves into the forward position and gains possession. Schmid. 
dokes it near side. It's match point for Stephanie Schmidt of Germany. And we hit this one tight to that near side. Much to the happiness of German players, Sabina Barroza. Okay, play. Back over to Bonzini we go. And of course, Cinderella Bonibon needs both of these balls on the Bonzini table. She misses here as it blocked by Schmid. Stephanie will call I'm timeout. Marina Paul, who would play in the next match, the doubles match, if Schmidt holds on to this one. Giving some advice to her fellow French woman. It's match point for Stephanie Schmidt. Knocked down and stolen away by Poitibon. Quickly to the near side. Schmidt with a block. Stephanie sends it up the table. Can't grab it on her three rod. Nice attempt. Cinderella bought it all now. Sending it along the outside wall, then along the near wall. Hustling, Schmidt gets back there. Puts the man up. And Stephanie now with a chance to win the match. Looking to send it down to one final doubles match for the 2012 World Cup title. Stephanie Schmidt angles it into the goal. Big performance from Stephanie Schmidt. And she defeats Cinderella Bonimon to tie this match up. And it's all come down to one final doubles match for the 2012 title. Did you see her flip it over an angle again? What a beautiful shot by Schmid. And it's going to be France versus Germany. One doubles match to see who will be crowned as the champions this year here in Nantes in the Women's World Cup. Dans quelques instants, sous vos applaudissements, donc ce seront des doubles pour l'équipe d'Allemagne. Je vous demande d'applaudir en double Samy Bros et Petra Andres pour l'équipe d'Allemagne. Et pour l'équipe de France, Ali Delmanivong et Marie Paul. Et nous aurons le coup d'envoi de la finale masculine entre l'Allemagne et la Belgique à 17h en zone A. Supporters de l'équipe de France, supporters de l'Allemagne, je vous demande maintenant d'applaudir ces deux équipes pour l'équipe de France. Faites du oui pour l'équipe d'Allemagne également
Marina Pohl will start in the offensive position. Alice Denmanivong at goal for the French. As we go down to one final two out of three match for the 2012 championship. It's going to be Petra Andres in the forward position for the Germans. Sabina Broza at goal. Lots of pressure. You can expect lots of intensity. And this is really what it's all about. You always like to see these big matches, these big finals come down to one final match, and we're going to see that here. fifth and final match of the Women's World Cup Championship Final. Petra Andres, the forward on the right, along with Sabina Broza, Marina Pohl on the left, along with her goalie, Alice Denmanivong, and here we go. 
Starting off on the French table, the Bonzini. Yeah. Petra Andres, who played so well in her match earlier on, a first round match when she played with Viviana Vijaya. Petra showed she's a very good Bonzini player. She brings it across and sets it up. Tried to go to that straight hole, blocked away, then stabbed into the goal. Back over to the other table we go. You see it there, that one stabbed into the goal. So they get the first point on Bonzini, and over to Leonhardt we go. Taken away here by Marina Pohl. It's just one game here to five. It is win by two. We've started with the one ball on the Bonzini table. Now we'll go to two on Leon Hart. And down the middle goes Den Manilong with a huge shot. The Germans score the first point on Bonzini. The French women have scored this first point on Leon Hart. There you see it. Beautiful shot by Den Manilong. It's 1 1. Sabina Broza in the forward position. Petra Andres at goal on this table after Petra had played forward on the Bonzini table. That pass attempt stolen away by Marina Pohl. Chance here for the French ladies to steal both points on the German table. Marina setting it up. Far side trying to come near. Blocked by Andres. Comes back to Pohl who fakes. And then has it taken away by Andres. Petra setting it up. This is the German home table. Pass near side. Nice save by Denmani Ball. Halis down the middle on goal. Knocked forward, eventually grabbed by Pohl. Another good shot by Denmani Bong. Pass attempt blocked away. And here's Halis again. She scored once. She put another good effort on goal. This one sent up the table where it's grabbed by Pohl. Marina Pohl, once again, for the lead. Comes back to that far side after faking to the near. It's 2-1. So the Germans scored the first one on the French table, two in a row here. The second one as Marina Pohl brings it back all the way out to that far corner. And the French score both on the German table as we return to Bonzini. Petra Andres. Rushing it through the lane. A chance here to tie it up, and she does. Petra, fearless. It's 2-2. Germans have scored two on Bonsini. The French have scored two on Leonhardt. What happened to the home table advantage? Non-existent in this game. Pass by Cole. Marina Pohl setting it up. Shooting against Sabina Brosa. Pohl to the near side. It's 3-2. Back over to Leonhardt we go. Looking at it again. She walked it around, then slammed it to that near corner. Big shot by Marina Pohl. Three to lead for France, and we have a timeout. Big crowd in the arena, enjoying every second of this exciting Women's World Cup final. Table, Petra Andres in the forward position. Yeah. It's an 
into play. Petro along the wall. We'll set it up, looking to even it up at three. Every ball so important now. Andres shot at him down the middle, blocked away, comes all the way back down the table. It's grabbed by Sabina Broza. Who will make the big play? Petra Andres is going to get a chance to make a play here. She'll set it up, looking to tie it up once again at three. Near side shot attempt wide of the goal. Petra can't grab it. At least Del Monavong does. That one banked off the inside wall towards the goal, kept out by Sabina. Rosa sends that one just wide. Then Monibong, who looks very comfortable on this table, sends that one up the other end. Nice save by Brosa. Sabina. Banks it off the inside wall, and then Petra Andres able to gather it in on her shooting rod. She'll set it up. Far side of the goal. Walk it around. Looking for the hole. And she finds it down the middle. It's 3-3. Andres moving back into the goalie position. Sabina Rosa to forward. Looking at it again, you'll see she hit it off the side of that forward man, angling it into the goal, and we're even up at three. Must win by two. So that's where we are in a win by two situation. That one rolls to a dead stop. So we put back into play by Marina Pohl of France. Pohl has her pass attempt stolen away by Broza. Sabina setting it up far side. And stroking it down the middle. Sabina Broza finding that hole in the center of the defense of Alice de Manivong, and we're going to move back over to the Bonzini table, and it's a World Cup championship point for Germany. Pressure is immense for the French right now. Marvin Apollo is going to chance to tie it up here at four. Pohl setting it out on that far side. Tried to come back to the far side. Went wide of the goal. And we'll get another chance here. That one angled on goal. Sabina Broza kept it out. Broza. Banked off the inside wall. Blocked back towards her. Sabina once again in possession. Pass attempt for a clearing effort. Blocked by Pohl's three rod. Sabina once again has possession of the ball. That one sent up the table and in through the air and hustled after. And eventually, Marina Pohl gathers it in. Great action here in this women's final. In front of the home crowd, the French ladies now with a chance to tie it up at four. Pohl goes down the middle. It is win by two. It's as simple as that. Whoever can get a two-goal lead will be the 2012 World Cup champions. Go. Petro Andres puts it into play. Rushes it through the lane. Petra proving again quality all-around player she is as she sets it up and looks for the lead. Andres tries to come down the middle. Big block there by Alice and Manivong. But Petra gets it back. Resets. Tries to go down the middle and again Den Manivong is there. Great defensive series by Alice. And that shot up into the air and off the table. Play by Brosa since that one just won. Tied up at four. Whoever, which 
whichever team goes ahead by two goals now wins the championship. Cole looking to score, get the lead, and send it back to Leon Hunt. This hits it, gets it back, and quickly calls timeout. What a great match this has been. The Germans won the first match. The French came back to get the next two. Germany won a big fourth round match to send it to this. A final game. One final game for the championship. And we're tied up at four. You couldn't ask for a better match than this. Marina Pohl has possession of the ball on her shooting run. And she puts it into play. Pohl from pin position. Finds the hole to the near side. It's 5-4, and it's world championship point for France. She took her time, set dead still, and then just exploded to the near corner of the goal. Pressure on the Germans now. They're on their home table, but it is world championship point for the French. Petra Andre is able to get this pass through. Remember, you must win by two. Petra attempting to tie it up at five here. Andres finds it to the far side. It's 5-5. Five, five. Big shot there. Looking at it again. Getting it deep to the far corner. Play. What a day it's been for German table soccer. Shot on goal by Pohl. Blocked by Andres, who is back there defensively. She's the power player on this team, and she has been spectacular. She has played a great match. able to take it away here. Set it up. Gigantic possession. Pole. Comes back to that far side. Marina Pole has given the French a 6-5 lead and we're headed back to Bonzini. Again, the fake to the near, the shot to the far. That is as they say in America, her bread and butter, and she continues to use it to great success. And it's given the French ladies a world championship point. But the Germans will not give up. Even though we're headed over to the French table, Petra Andres in the forward position is awfully good on this table. Can't hold on to the pass here. Then Moneyball. Down the middle she goes, knocked towards the goal, kept in the goal area by Alice. Who resets. Shot on goal, blocked by Broza. Sent up the table, and again, Alice then Moneyball in possession. Alice has been very effective shooting the ball. That one rattles off the outside wall, picked up by Broza. Sent forward, stabbed forward towards the goal, then Monivong keeps it out. Alice. Shot blocked back into the goal by Petra Andres. Huge defensive play, it's 6 6. Looking at it again, then Monivong has gone down the middle several times. Petra looking for it here, makes the block. 
and it couldn't have come at a better time for right. Germany, yep. who has evened it up at six apiece and now guarantees that they'll head back over to that table, the Leonhardt. Meanwhile, here on the Bonzini, Marina Pohl along that inner wall. Set it up, looking to give the French team the lead, but it's taken away by Brosa. Sabina sends it forward and rolls back to Petra. Andres loses it backwards. Brosa now in possession. You can cut the tension with the proverbial knife. Shot down the middle by Brosa. Retrieved by Denmani Vaughan, who has been very good offensively, but Petra Andres counted on her going down the middle on that last shot and made the block. Shot down the middle on goal, bounces around, stabbed towards the goal by Pohl, and then eventually grabbed by Marina Pohl. Team to give the French the lead once again. And she does. It's 7 6. You'll see that she finds that hole down the middle here, and a big sigh of relief. Alice Stan Hani Vong and Marina Pohl. Back over to Leon Hart we go. Seven six lead. It is world championship point once again for the French. Petro Andres. Huge pressure here. Every ball just pressure packed. Andres takes it out, far side. Shot attempt blocked by Denmani Vaughn. Comes back to Andres, who might have rushed that one just a little bit. Petra again. Dokes it to the near side. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Classic match. This Women's World Cup Final here in the year 2012. France versus Germany. Whoever gets a hit by two points wins it. Shot down the middle into the goal by Rosa. Both points go to the German team on the German table. And over to Bonzini we head. You see that down the middle off a man into the goal and the German side erupts. Back to Bonzini we go. Marina Pohl for France, putting it into play. Angles it towards the goal, and Marina able to reel it in here. <laughs> and only imagine the pressure these ladies are feeling. Marina Pohl. Oh. Stokes at home. It's eight. Eight. In the forward position, able to pass it along that near wall. We're tied up at eight. Yeah! Quick shot into the goal by Andres. And the German ladies have surged ahead, 9-8, and will return to their home table. Looking at it again, a quick shot as she pushed it, then brought it back, angled it between the defenders of Ali Stenmanivong, and it's world championship point for the Germans. German home table, Marina Pohl, Alice and Mani Wong must have this point. That one towards the goal, and Pohl able to gather it in. Marina Pohl, biggest shot of her career so far right here. Or one of them. Pohl. Comes back to that far what? side. She was looking for it. You asked about it. Ball rolls to a stop, but we put back into play by Sabina Broza. Marina Pohl has used that particular shot so effectively all match long. Broza finally got a man on it, anticipated it. She has possession of it. 
Sabina Broza. Shot down the middle, blocked back towards the goal. It's championship point for the Germans. Broza. Down the table on goal, Petra Andres will set it up with a chance to win the World Cup title. Petra Andres for the win. We'll call timeout. French ladies with their lives on the line here. Down 9-8. Possession of the ball on the shooting rod of Germany's Petra Andres, who has a chance to bring the World Cup home to Germany. She'll touch two men, putting it back into play. For the championship, Petra Andres. Trying to come to that near side, blocked away, and then retreat again by Andres. Her second opportunity as she resets, takes a look. Trying to come near side, blocked by Den Manivong. Alice. Shot attempt, knocked down, step towards the goal by Marina Pohl, retrieved by Brosa. It remains championship point for the Germans. Andres has had two opportunities to put the World Cup final away. And Marina Pohl steals it. Opportunity here for the French ladies to tie it at nine. Pohl finds the hole near side. We're tied up again. And we stay here. Nine, nine. Just pick one. Is that first or second time? Yeah. You have one left. Nine nine. Okay. This assures the French that will be yeah. headed back over to their table here momentarily. But who will be leading when we go back over there? Petra Andres has a chance to give her team a 10-9 lead right here. Petra. Try to go far side, wide of the goal. It comes all the way back down the table in possession of Sabina Broza. She has it, bottom of your screen, sends that one on goal. Up and back it comes to Broza. Sabina banks it off the outside wall into the goal. Sabina Broza with that outside bank. What a huge shot by Sabina. And it's 10-9. World Championship point again for the Germans. Beautiful outside bank and the celebration. Stop, 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 stop. So now the French ladies back on their home table, the Bonzini. Trailing 10-9. What a match. Pass down the middle by Paul. Marina will try to tie it up at 10. Shot near side, blocked by Broza. Comes back to Paul. Marina again. Again, there's Broza with the block. And Sabina able to gather in the rebound, send it up the table, but right back comes Pohl. Marina Pohl. Shot again, Broza is there. Comes back to Denman Yvonne. She has possession, top of your screen in the goal area. Angles that one on goal, Broza keeps it out. 10-9 in favor of the Germans. It's championship point for them. Now with yeah. angle towards the goal, and there it is! As Petra Andres slams it home 
and the Germans in an epic confrontation have beaten the French to win the 2012 Women's World Cup of Table Soccer. What a great match, what a great performance by the German team. What a battle this was.